Okay. Um, wanted to talk about one lens here that I've never talked about before. And uh, since I just stopped making it, I think now would be an appropriate time. I'm replacing it with something else that's not out yet. Who knows what the quality is going to be like. Um, as I've told you, as is the case, every lens design has its trade-offs. Um, you either have a perfect uh, depth rendition and color saturation and have a little bit of chromatic aberration, or you can have an insanely sharp lens, a perfect corner to corner, and yet uh, have uh, depth uh, issues. Or, I mean, there's always a trade-off in all optics. And uh, some of them actually uh, try to balance it out. Um, but there actually exists, nor have I ever seen one, including some of the, you know, $15,000, $20,000 dollars Leica lenses. I mean, I remember back in the beach photo, I mean, I get to play around all day with $20,000 dollars Leica lenses and take some of them home with me, which is kind of absurd in, in hindsight, but the owner trusted me really well, and I certainly wasn't going to damage his stuff. But if someone put a gun to my head and said, you could only have three lenses for the rest of your life, this would definitely be it. And I have absolutely no other lens that is anywhere near this good. Not in just build quality, but it exists at near 100% across the board. Uh, color saturation, depth rendition, sharpness, it, it's, this lens isn't sharp, it's, it's insanely sharp. I mean, it's, it's not very sharp or extremely sharp, it actually reaches, and this isn't a hyperbole or personal exaggeration from my subjective experience, it is insanely sharp. It is so insanely sharp that it actually qualifies even though it's a wide-angle lens, as what I'd call a pseudo-macro. In other words, uh, you can focus in at its minimum focusing distance, which is a hair underneath uh, uh, 12 inches, and crop the piss out of it and tell someone that you took it with a macro lens. It is that damn good. And I've got no other lens that I've ever used ever that's like that. So the sharpness is absolutely off the scale. I mean, it, it's, an, it's an outer space. Um, now this is a ZF2, this is the Carl Zeiss uh, Distagon, it's the F2 35mm. Now they're replacing this with the Milvus, which of course isn't out yet. Um, there have been no advances in lens technology, uh, I forget. Now this one is uh, 9 elements in uh, 6 groups I believe. I know it's 9 elements, uh, but I can't remember the exact number of groups. I mean there's too many lenses to remember all of that. Yeah, 7 groups, excuse me. Yeah, it's a 530 grams, so it's actually just like the rest of my Zeiss lenses, and I've got six, six Zeiss lenses, yeah. Uh, no other Zeiss lens uh, comes close to what this one does, even though they're all exquisite, and I just got done reviewing the 85mm yesterday. Um, right now, this one's on sale. Uh, I think it's like 200 and some off. It's like $920 or 917 at the B&H Photo right now and uh, other places, so because they're replacing this with the middle of it, which is ridiculous. Some people try to improve on perfection, but Nikon and everybody else does that. It's like, we got something's perfect, we're going to roll something else out now. So this lens isn't even on uh, Zeiss's uh, website anymore. i got a couple of these, by the way. It's that exquisite. Um, insanely heavy. Now it's like an AIP lens. It has CPU contacts, so you, of course, can use it in... Uh, not only aperture uh, priority and manual, but also shutter priority and program mode. It says CPU contacts. It's like a manual, it's exactly like the Voigtlanders. It's uh, like an AI uh, P lens, which uh, means it actually communicates uh, CPU data to the camera. Um, the actual uh, aperture ring, of course, locks in at F22, F2 to F22. Um, Focusing on it is absolutely a dream boat, just like uh, every other uh, Carl Zeiss lens, but uh, this lens stands out. I've actually humorously yet uh, logically referred to th these lenses that are the tits. Well, this is the only lens that actually has its own category even above that, and uh, the reason for that is that it is at 100% in every attribute. Now, every lens is a trade-off, but once in a while, and 35mm and 50mm, are lenses that come close, I mean, in a pure, uh, pure excellence of production. We have a uh, high quality 50 millimeter, and uh, the Otis 55 millimeter sucks ass, by the way. That uh, nearly $4,000 lens by Carl Zeiss, excuse my language, I hate it, it sucks. 
It's got, I mean, that lens is insanely expensive. Yeah, it's damn sharp, and people have talked about how sharp it is, and they've compared it to other 50 millimeter lenses. They say, look how sharp it is, you know, compared to the expensive Nikkor 50 millimeter. And yeah, it is, but that uh, lens has got a lot of damn glass in it. I mean, a lot. And, I mean, it, it's, the whole thing is just, yeah, it's insanely heavy, it's insanely expensive. The color saturation and the depth rendition on it are horrible. Uh, sharpness is in everything, okay? I can add sharpness in post. I can't add, uh, you can't add color saturation too, but you want it there naturally. But I mean, you cannot add depth rendition. And uh, this 9 element uh, lens uh, is, uh, and this has got the lens hood on it too, by the way. Let me take it off there so you can actually see what the lens looks like without the hood. There we go. Um, this lens qualifies in its own category as uh, the one and only God lens I've ever used or shot. That's why I've got two of them, and it's ridiculous. One lens is going to last me far beyond my lifetime, much less having two of them. So why I have two is beyond me, but it is that damn good. I've got no other lens. It blows the piss snot out of every other lens that I've got. Um, I mean, it's hard to describe. Most people don't understand that. They think, well, lens can have everything. No, it can't. Uh, you know, you've got one or the other, either end of the spectrum, or a decent balance across the board, which is actually rather rare. Um, but this lens is right at 100% color saturation, the depth rendition. The sharpness is in outer space. I mean, it is intergalactic sharpness. And that's what it's like. Pseudo macro. Pseudo meaning fake, it's not a real macro, obviously it's a... Oh, I forgot to mention, I, I, um, as far as the color rendition, depth saturation, and uh, interstellar intergalactic sharpness, the bokeh. Now bokeh on a wide angle is... Eh. Uh, there are a few, few, not many, a few good lenses that render incredibly beautiful bokeh. Um, you know, at 40 millimeters, and below, there aren't many, okay? This, the bokeh on this lens is mind-boggling. It is the cat's ass. It is, uh, it's the, it's not the cat's ass, it's even above the tit. <laughs> the tits. <laughs> so this lens has perfect bokeh, which is impossible for a 35mm wide, intergalactic sharpness, and, I, and I, it sounds just intergalactic sharpness. Well, what the, what the F does that mean? Well, you better take my word on it. Don't take my word on it. Go look at the Flickr page, or go rent one for a day, or borrow one from some schmuck at gunpoint, whatever. <laughs> you know, don't take my word for it, all right? But I'm telling you flat out right now that this lens is incredible. Okay, The bokeh, unbelievable bokeh. And for a wide angle, that, that's even more unbelievable. Okay, I got many lenses with great bokeh. Okay, that's wonderful. What about a wide angle? Well, yeah, there are a few. Okay, what about a wide angle lens with incredible bokeh, interstellar sharpness, incredible color saturation, incredible depth rendition, built like a friggin' tank. Uh, right now it's on sale except for $917. Um, it's being replaced by the Milvus. And who knows what the hell that's going to I know what it's going to be like. It's, it's going to be made for the next generation. The full frame is going to have a lot more glass in it. I forget how many elements it's going to have in it. But I can speculate about it based upon its geometry and design. So it's going to be flat. And it's not going to have a great color saturation or depth. And, and uh, given the element count, I doubt it's going to have great bokeh. It'll probably have decent, but it won't be like anything like this. So Here it is. It's the best lens I have. It takes a crap on everything else I've got and then some. Uh, incredible bokeh. Uh, I've never actually shot a lens like it, and uh, you know, Zeiss unfortunately decided that they're going to improve everything because there's a new a breed of sensors coming out, but uh, ain't nothing going to top this baby. I'm sorry. Uh, everything, every lens design and construction is a compromise, and this lens compromises on nothing. Bokeh, uh, sharpness, rendition, saturation, I mean, they're all intergalactic. Uh, and it's it's a hundred percent across the board, which is it really is non-existent on a lens. So, if you want the best lens, the best lens that I've got or ever shot in my entire life, this this is we got here, here, here. The five levels that I've established, this lens is sitting right up there, and I don't joke about that. Um, I'm glad I could finally bring this lens. Uh, I made it because. This video right now, I mean, I was going to hold off on doing some of my Zeiss lens reviews, but uh, since it has introduced the middle of this line, they yanked this lens off of uh, Zeiss's website. However, it is still available new and used all over the place here and there, so 
See about snagging one. Um, there's no way in hell you're ever going to regret buying that lens. Um, I will uh, eat a giant pile of elephant crap before anybody tells me that they bought one of these lenses and didn't like it. It's just that damn simple. Okay? Thanks for watching. If you like this video, drop me a buck or two. Go tell me, jump off a cliff, whatever makes you really happy. Another video from the angry photographer, the crazy tattooed freak. However, this video is dead serious, even though I've got a good sense of humor. This lens is the cat's... I mean, no, this lens is interstellar. <laughs> Actually, I referred to yesterday as this the god lens. I don't know what everyone call it. Interstellar, god lens, but this lens is it. Period. Catch you later.